Hey guys, I'm Karen and welcome to another video and today I have a new haul from Colourpop! <laughs> uh, if you've been following me for a while, you know that one of my favorite hauls is a Colourpop haul and then a high herb haul, but Colourpop is definitely number one. I love Colourpop. Look at this package. I have, I think, maybe three or four boxes like this one. And I love it. Okay, so let's see what I got. I already opened. I was too curious to not open and I just opened and put it back in so we can do <laughs> a haul. So let's see what I got. A lot of plastic. I wish the Colourpop will move to paper and not plastic. Uh, because you know plastic ruins our planet so please guys Colourpop if you're listening move to paper okay this is everything I got I have here three eyeshadow palettes and some super shocks and even a lip liner okay so let's start with the lip liner and the lip liner I got is this one. This is the lippy pencil. This is my first lip pencil from Colourpop. This is called Stay On Point. Just sharpen me. This is nice and the shade is Bossy Matte. This is the shade name. I don't know, it will focus sometime. One, two, three, and the name is Bossy Matte. Okay, let's see how it looks like inside. And this is it. This is how it looks like. This is the shade. Very burgundy shade, very dark. I usually don't order dark shades like that. But it was on sale and I got it. Okay, can you see that? Okay, so this is the shade, a beautiful burgundy pink shade. Well, I haven't tried it yet, so I don't really know. And I don't know if I can pull it off with this light shade of lipstick that I'm wearing. But this is my first lippy pencil from Colourpop. And I'm anxious to try it. Okay, let's see what else do I have here. I have this Super Shock Cheek. So it's a bl Super Shock blush. This is in the shade Between the Sheets. Mm, interesting. So this is the shade name Between the Sheets. And this is how it looks like. It looks like the big the big brother for the small eyeshadow, uh, the Super Shock eyeshadow. This one I already have, this is Ladybird, and this is the new one, this is the Super Shock Chick between the sheets. So this is the big brother, and this is how it looks like from the inside, look how pretty it is. Let's see how the shade is looks nice okay that looks very nice let's try it why not add some more to the cheeks okay so I'm just taking and applying it with my brush I already have a blush so I'm just adding a tiny bit more on the super sharp blush well, it looks nice, but I need to check it on its own and make sure that I love it. But this is the Super Shock for the cheek. Well, next up I have another Super Shock shadow from Color. Well, everything is from Colourpop. This is called <laughs> Like a Shot. This is the second Super Shock that I have by Colourpop. This is how it looks like. This is how it's called. And let's see the shade. Look what a beautiful coppery color. 
Okay, let's swatch it. Wow, look at that. This is beautiful. Let's swatch it. Wow. Okay, look at that. This is so beautiful. Okay, so I like this one. Um, nice shade. And well, about the formula, I'm not really sure that I really like the Super Shocks. I don't know why I bought more. I have here in the corner of my eye this ladybird and if you can see after a few uses and if you use it with a brush that's what happens you got dents inside but it's a beautiful color i tried applying it all over the lid it was perfect so just for comparison this is ladybird this is the shade i have in my tear dot and under and under my eyes here but let's see what else do i have here and with a big shock another super shock <laughs> now this is from the collection of the what's it's called the wild child collection and well the packaging is adorable the shade, let's see how the shade is. So the packaging is definitely adorable. And I like this brown shade. This is con called Run Wild Super Shock Shadow Ultra Glitter. So this is it. It looks pretty. Let's see how it is from the inside. This looks really, really nice and it looks a bit coppery, which looks very similar to the one that I already showed you a few minutes ago. Oh God, I really hope I'm wrong and I didn't take the same shade twice. So I'm going to do it above the first shade. Well, it's different, it's darker. So this is the, this is the shade that I just showed you, this one which was called Run Wild and above it is the shade Like a Shot. So they're definitely different. But look at the shimmer of this one. <laughs> okay, so it's a nice shade, but I don't know why I bought another Super Shock. Um, I hope I will use all three of them now. I have three eyeshadow palettes. Let's start with the first one. I've been wanting it for a long time at Forest Side. This is a beautiful pressed powder palette. Okay, let's see how it looks like from the inside. Well, shocker, but it looks the same <laughs> on the inside, the packaging I mean. And this is Raw Beauty Christie with Christie and collaboration with Colourpop. Of course, there's a thin film here. There is no cam, uh, no mirror. Sorry. This is how it looks like. I've been wanting this palette for a long time. It was out of stock for a long time, but now I got it, and I hope that I will love it. It looks pretty, but I won't know until I'll use it. The shades look very, very beautiful. It has only two shimmers. Let's swatch them. And this evergreen looks yummy. And West Coast is the golden one. And it looks nice. Let's just swatch them. Okay, the gold one swatched better, but look at the beautiful sheen of this green shade. It looks beautiful. But of course, this is just first impression. I didn't have a chance to play with it and see how it is on the lid. And of course, we will do a first impression video about this palette because it looks really, really interesting. This shade here, it's called Let It Rain. It looks black, it looks pitch black, 
but if you look at it closer you can see the glitters here yeah it looks interesting let's try it oh okay that's nice has orange glitters inside yeah you can see them you can see the orange glitters okay is there a safety warning on any of the shades yeah on amanita only on amanita which is oh there is the aster lake look this is new i didn't notice it before this is the shade that has the asterlic here and you can see the asterlic next to the shade name itself and not only on the back and not intended for use in the immediate eye area this is what the asterlic means i don't know why let's swatch it of course with a, a different finger why is it intended for the eyes just a matte color this is very strange okay i don't know maybe because it's very pigmented maybe it can stain the lid i don't know i will test it and we'll find out but look how much pigment there's still on my fingers okay so this one looks intriguing and i'm dying to play with it as i said i've been waiting for a long time to get it and i was so happy when it was back in stock and i grabbed it okay next up this is uh that's taupe now this palette got a lot of hype on the web on youtube on instagram wherever you want it was in the top 10 of a lot of youtubers and that i follow and i thought well I have to have it so i got it and i must say that okay first of all this is how it looks like i will just show it to you and then i will let you know what i think about it it doesn't have a mirror it's i don't mind that this is how it looks like no mirror and these are the shades and i was disappointed when i opened it I already said that I opened it because I was too curious. I opened, I didn't swatch it. I just opened and looked at it and was really, really disappointed because it looks a lot. It looks similar to the ones that I already have. Nude mood and um, going coconut. So. I was really really disappointed when I saw that it doesn't mean that the quality is not good it doesn't mean that it's not a beautiful palette it just means that I wasn't as excited as I was when I was watching YouTube and watching all the influencers so yep yeah, you have to keep that in mind when you order um, a palette or anything else basically when you listen to an influencer especially ones that get these free love watching makeup just for fun which well she's perfect because she does give her honest opinion if when she even if she gets it free on pr but many youtubers don't unfortunately and they don't give you their real opinion about things because they got it for free or it's a collaboration or it's sponsored so i don't know i think that maybe next time when it's sponsored or when someone got it on pr i will be more alert and pay more attention to what i buy because i don't know if that's their honest opinion okay so what do i think about this palette well it's too soon to know but as i said i'm disappointed because i feel like i already have these palettes now if you've been following me you know that my as i said before one of my favorite packages to open is a color pop hole and this time i was a bit disappointed by the choices that i made of course not by the quality because i didn't even have a chance to check the quality of this palette so i don't really know i'm talking about the color scheme and my anticipations and my feelings and 
thoughts about this the last one i got is another one that was really really hyped online and i got it which is this one wild child this is a palette that was very very hyped and well i love the packaging because the packaging is adorable really really adorable and i enjoyed short salt glue one two three and i was so happy when it was restocked and i could get my hand on it wild child let's see how it looks like from the inside as i said i already opened so i know it looks like from the inside but this is well it's different which is <laughs> a very uncommon by ColourPop because usually it's a copy paste of the cardboard this is by plastic and this one has a mirror inside and this is how it looks like okay now i was disappointed by this palette as well yes i was very disappointed it's too dark too much brown I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of it. I don't know if I will like it. I mean, the shimmers look really nice. These two looks very, very nice. But I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of this palette because it's too brown. And again, it was so hyped and so many people talked about it and raved about it. And I fell for it definitely felt for it and I got another brown palette so of course different browns and I don't think I have exactly something like that in my collection but I have so many eyeshadow palettes by Colourpop then I definitely didn't need this palette no no I didn't need it and this is why I was disappointed. It doesn't mean, as I said, maybe it's good quality. Um, I'm sure it's a good quality. It's Colourpop. Usually their palettes are the best. So I bought it. I hope I will like it as much as I love my other Colourpop palettes. Let's just swatch the middle shade, which looks the most interesting one which is called lashes I'll just pop it here it looks like a super shock glittery yeah it looks nice next to its brother <laughs> from the super shock it looks even glitterier than the super shock yeah okay so these are my initial thoughts i didn't have a chance to play with it i wanted to show it to you first even though i got it a few days ago already but you know i waited i didn't play with it i will play with it soon and i will let you know my thoughts i love this packaging this one less i don't know why i really really like this one the, the pattern i mean okay okay this is it this is it. everything i got from colourpop this time around let's put everything back in the box so i can show it to you again so this is everything i got and some i really really like and look forward to well i look forward to try everything i got of course but some of them i was a tiny bit disappointed but i have another package from colourpop on the way don't worry about that yeah i know i'm crazy <laughs> okay so if you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i'll catch you all in my next video bye